Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarek, and welcome back to Last Night Survival. So today I decided that it's time for us to open up the most expensive crate in the game, and that is the purple crate. We can get it by opening up purple cards, so we're gonna clear 99 waves, and I'm already ready for that because we have enough grenade launchers. But hey, before we do this, I have some more things on the plate. So as you can see, I have this level 11 rack over here, and I'd love to have more level 11 racks at the base. That way I'll be able to store more items in one slot. That's how I can store here 70 items in just one slide but uh, i'm currently working on this other rack it's only at level six i can only store here 45 items and to be able to store more items here i need to have 40 ash planks and i only have 29 so my workbenches are almost like kind of constantly working by constantly i mean every time i log in here i try to drop some ash uh, logs into that uh, workbench and i'm kind of running out of ash logs so let's hop here on our atv let's drop a little bit of fuel and let's roll to the swamp location because I guess the goal for 2024, maybe, I kind of set like some sort of a tiny goal is to get more ash logs. I've had that goal for probably the past two years, but I was too lazy to grind that ash. But I think it's time for us to do it. I'm kind of taking it a bit more seriously. I'm trying to get at least two stacks of it per day. That's not too much. But I mean, two stacks per two stacks, like uh, two stacks plus two stacks is going to be four stacks. And little by little, we're going to get more stacks and we'll be able to upgrade the base. So while we are running to the farm location and then we're going to drive here to the swamp location, I'd love to say welcome, welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream. Glad to see all over here. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then hop to the pinned comments down below. There you can find timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker. Once again, welcome, welcome to those that are watching live. Thanks for checking out the timestamps for those that do check them out. Uh, hope you're enjoying those timestamps. And yeah, welcome now to the swamp location. We're gonna grind here just for a bit, and then I think we're gonna repair our grenade launchers. We're gonna get a brutalizer, and that's it. We're gonna clear 99 waves. It's been quite a while. And also, another thing, we are almost at level 80 here, right? Uh, we are level 79, we just need a bit more experience. And we will be able to get this one more Dragunov. You already know what we're gonna do with it. We're gonna recycle it, because why not? What else are we gonna do with it? And uh, yeah, then we'll get one more Dragunov blueprint. So let's deal with a few of these. Oh no, I didn't get my. Oh no, I didn't get enough guns. I thought I prepped. I thought I prepped before everything began. I got enough weapons. At least that's what I thought. But yet here I am. I forgot to get enough Glocks. Oh no. Oh no. Well, whatever. Let's do this. At least I had some stuff in the inbox. I mean, we still should be fine. We're going to survive. And hey, once again, welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. Glad to see all over here. Welcome, welcome. Today's plan is very simple to work a bit on, on our base to get some ash logs. We're going to go to the settlement. We're going to work a bit, a bit on the settlement. We're going to get some more pine beams. And uh, yeah, I kind of want to get the water going, right? I have to start the, the water pump or whatever the thing is called at the settlement, but we still need a lot of resources for that. So I'll be working towards that. And we're going to clear 99 waves. We'll open up a purple card. And I don't know, I also need to clear the transport hub. We also need to do a few raids, but I will see what else we can do there. We just flow. We go with the flow. We flow with the flow. Uh, we're going to now split these ash logs so that my character just goes for these ash logs. But hey, I don't have enough of these ash logs. I can quickly split these carrots. So my, characters, uh, my character cannot pick up any carrots. I can just go on auto. And this is just going to go... Straight forward to these ash logs, and that's pretty cool. How do you get level 3 base easily, says Donkey W. So, sadly, it's impossible to get a level 3 base easily. It also depends what you mean by easily, but there is no magic button to get a bunch of ash planks. I mean, bunch of oak logs. Um, yeah, you just have to grind it little by little. The best way to probably upgrade your base to, le to base to level 3 is to, again, set a goal to get, like, a decent amount of oak planks per day. The more the better, but it all depends how many oak logs you can get per day. Because some people maybe can get 10, 20 stacks per day. Maybe you'll be done with just two stacks like me. So it all depends on you. And that's it. And then just keep grinding. And the best way to get bricks, it's very tedious to get bricks. In my opinion, it's more difficult to get bricks than oak logs. Because you have to farm an insane amount of stones. So the best way to get probably bricks is by doing raids. There is a really high chance, a high probability that you will get a raid with a bunch of bricks. So make sure to do that. Maybe you will be able to, to get it. 
So those are all tips and tricks that I know about level 3 walls. And obviously do not build level 1 or level 2 walls. As they're not worth it as zombies will destroy those walls completely. So don't even bother about it. That's it. Those are all tips and tricks. Unless you guys know what other tips and tricks... What other tips and tricks you have there, right? For those level 3 walls, then share them in the chat. Where do you think you can... Uh, wait, what? Where do you think you can collect the ingredients to make a chopper for beginners? Make sure to check out my free-to-play playlist and you can get chopper parts at Bunker Alpha by opening up a yellow and red crates. You can also get that stuff from the farm location. We've literally just assembled the chopper on the no storage account without having a... without having any chests at the base. That was pretty cool. The bases you raid are real players. No, you are not raiding real players. You are raiding bots. And some guy, welcome to the stream. Welcome to all those that have just joined. Glad to see all over here. Make a PUBG video, says Fano Bolte. I don't think so. Perhaps one day, but I highly doubt it. I've played PUBG in the past. But, yeah, I don't think I'll be playing more PUBG. Maybe one day. Who knows? We never know. As they say, never say never. Plus one for Babaji video. I have no idea what Babaji means, but welcome insane. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. I'm glad to be on your screen. I'm glad to take up some of your pixels there on the screen. Thanks for being here. Oh no, oh no, I almost died from these things. I checked the chat and almost died. Unbelievable, unbelievable. All right, let's go here. Uh, Fortnite and Babaji, I have no idea. Oh, PUBG, Babaji, some people call PUBG Babaji. Is, do I understand it correctly? This is the first time I hear that. I've never heard that before. I'm struggling so much to get the gas tank and the other thingy. Uh, sometimes, they're... It's all RNG, they should be pretty easy to get, but some people do struggle to get them, some people are just unlucky. Sadly, there's nothing you can do about that. Hopefully you will get it though. Babaji. Guys, do you play Babaji? Do people really refer to PUBG as Babaji? And hey, Star, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Good afternoon. I hope you're having a good day. I was waiting for the live stream to start. Last day on Earth is the best to start. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the super chat. Have an amazing day. And yeah, so far I'm having a great day as well. You know the meme, stop being a donor. You know the meme. I didn't know the meme, Babaji, I swear. I promise I've never heard of the Babaji meme. It's the first time I hear of the Babaji. I don't even know, guys, what Babaji are we talking about. I promise. I'm not kidding. I don't know what is Babaji. Unless Babaji is PUBG, then I kind of see how... How it can be. But again, I've never heard of that meme. The last meme that I've heard was the helicopter helicopter. When PewDiePie stopped reviewing memes, that's when I... Uh, stopped learning about the memes. That's it. I'm not on Reddit. I'm not following the new hot memes. So I good don't know much about the new memes. Good you're having a good day. I was waiting for the live stream to start. I'll do Ace the best. Thanks, Star. Thanks for being here. Welcome to the stream. The day's going great. Hope for your, uh, your day or afternoon is going great as well. Welcome, welcome. And you're just in time for the live stream. The live stream has just begun. So yeah, somebody else needs to start reviewing memes because that's it. We no longer have any memes. Also get some memes from the last in our Discord. So if you're in our Discord, discord.gg slash appysyric, where the link is down in the end of the description, you can post your memes there and maybe I'll see something. I don't know. Assemble A to B without a chest. That's, a, that's pretty silly. We're not doing that, but hey, perhaps one day. Water of shame says Zachary Castleman. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. And we have to drink a little bit of water. We could. That's a very good water. That's very good water. A very good water, yes. <laughs> That's very good water. Thanks, Zachary. Thanks for... Uh... By feeding, that means you get the food in. But what do you say by drinking? By not making me thirsty? By unthirsting me? I don't know. Well, thanks, mate. It's a very nice cup of water. What updates are you hoping to come to last in Earth Survival? I have a... A idea. I mean, while we while we skedaddle from here, I can probably quickly read those ideas. Where you have fifty or something logs here right now. So, um, I want a lumber mill in the swamp location or anywhere else, so that the farming wood would be less boring. I want a chainsaw and a jag hammer available in the crater. 
Uh, I mean, that's one of the ideas. It can also be in the lumber mill or anywhere else, but that's a nice idea to make the crater more useful. If they have a chainsaw or a jackhammer, that way the crater will be more interesting. If they add like that chainsaw and the jackhammer that you can get from the crater to the ma to the real world here to the to the single player, that'd be amazing. I also want updated loot in the hard mode bunker alpha because the current floppy crate is pretty bad. I want auto sword bun so that uh, it sorts out our loot from the characters in our boxes and better loot in the laboratory. Also, we should be able to choose parks with ads in the laboratory. Better loot in bunker bravo. Better loot at the event factory. Better loot in the season passes and ability to craft 10 items at the same time. That's the list of the things. If maybe I come up with something else, I'll add something else to that list. But that's the list of things that I don't want to see in the game. That's pretty much it. And those are pretty, like, basic things. I don't think anything is too crazy. It's not like I want, like, thousand new location, bring me the helicopter or anything. That'd be awesome. But those are just, like, nice quality of life improvements. He pulled out the notepad. Things go serious as insane. Yep, I can confirm that. This is a very serious live stream. We never joke here. We talk about very important issues, very important things in life, and uh, we are never joking. It's always serious. No funny business here. Just being absolutely serious. Smash like, smash subscribe if you are also serious. And if you're not serious, I also want to see that like button there. Hey guys, what are your tips for me to develop quickly? I mean, you can read books. It also de depends what you mean by develop. If you want to develop mentally, then probably reading books, talking to other people, uh, watching like some educational videos. I have no idea. If you want to develop health-wise, you should probably eat better, eat healthier, start working out. Uh, I don't know. How can you develop better? Let's drop the Glocks, but before we do this, let's get to a different set. So first of all, as you can see, I no longer have that silly skin, that silly winter skin, because it got annoying. I just want to see my armor and that's it. So we're going to do more raids a bit later. But hey, let's start doing those 99 waves. And after those 99 waves, we might do a few raids or something else. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's just get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get right into the 99 waves. What is the most expensive crate you'll be opening? I mean, the purple crate is the most expensive crate, so we'll be opening up that crate. We're gonna get more grenade launchers. Last time I didn't take enough of them. I mean, I did take enough. I mean, two rows, three rows. Three rows of grenade launchers plus a brutalizer. Right, before we do this, I need to get some armor to that other place. Are you gonna play another game, says some guy. Why play another game when you can play last on Earth? Like, that's pretty much what I think every time I wake up. Think of playing anything else. I'm like, why do this when you have last or Give me guys at least a reason. I mean, I can even make a poll here. I don't even decide it myself. A poll. Uh, something new or LDE. Uh, something new, LDE. Uh, what should I play? Something new or LDE. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very simple poll. It is a very simple poll. Make sure to participate in it. What does the hard mode loot use is? You get the crates, the floppy crates, and that's it. Um, I'm out of SWAT armors. Wait, maybe I have some more SWAT armors in this locker. Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Let's get this. I'm going to drop that. I just don't want to clear 99 waves with anything else but the SWAT armor. I think it's a bit better. Um. There we go. We have five sets. We have more stuff and we can skedaddle. It kind of gets boring in my opinion, says some guy. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Boring is just a feeling and feeling is all in your head. <laughs> According to the poll, there's got to be more last dinner. And it's a, and it's democracy here. So as long as people want more last dinner, there will be more last dinner. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. It's not up to me, some guy, it's not up to me. 
let's bring all of this loot to the Blackport PD. Okay, we can refresh that. And now we can roll on our chopper. Basically, your opinion doesn't matter, some guy says extremer. No, his opinion does matter. Everybody's opinion matters. That's why we play last, dinner. Right? I want the swamp ore crate to drop a variety of ores from copper to iron to bauxite and lead because just lead is useless as clay bear. That's actually a very nice idea. I'm stealing it. Uh, last and earth ideas. Let's get this. And the tenth idea. The swamp location lead crate should drop a variety of different ores. That That is it. That's pretty simple and straightforward. That's a nice idea, buggers. Um, okay, before we do anything else, before we talk to that dude, actually there's nothing to talk to him about. I've been following for three years. Please make a detailed video on base building level three walls and level four maybe says legendary skull. I mean, if you watched these videos for three years and uh, again, like no offense to you, it's all fine. But if you haven't learned that there is no strategy to building level three walls. And if you've played this game for three years and you still don't have level three walls, then something's not right. I don't know. In any case, long story short, there is no strategy to building level 3 walls. It doesn't matter what kind of base you build. Start off from a 3x3, three three, upgrade that 3x3 three three to, to, to steal, and that's it. There is no strategy, because you're being raided by bots. Uh, wait, we're gonna come back here later, so hopefully that helps out. Quick question, what's the most efficient way to complete the settlement? Oof, it's very expensive. It takes a lot of time. Besides the daily loot and clearing the sites, also, is there any other way to get the settlement materials besides the sites and dailies? You go to the transport hub, you can get some settlement materials from the transport hub, and that's it. You grind the settlement. That's why not a lot of people like the settlement, because the settlement is uh, expensive, time-consuming, and tedious. But that's, that's the settlement. Sadly, I don't have a lot of tips and tricks. Bro, what's your PC spec, says uh, Pespundra. Uh, I have Intel Pentium inside. And that's it. That's all I got. Those are my specs. Is the transport hub hard? Uh, it's one of the harder places in the game. I wouldn't I wouldn't call it easy. It's more difficult than Bunker Alpha. It's easier than the laboratory. So I would say it's after Bunker Alpha. It's easier than the lab, definitely easier than the laboratory. It's more difficult than Bunker Alpha. Um, we need now grenade launchers, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. Actually, wait, I'm gonna drop all of it. And let's get these broken ones just so that we can repair them. Just like this. How can I get oak logs without the forest? You don't. It's like, how do I breathe without breathing? You don't get oak logs by going to the forest. I mean, three stacks of that is enough. Plus, we've gotten some more uh, stuff there already. I'm gonna get some carrots. Two stacks of those is fine. Uh, I'll drop this thing here and ladies and gentlemen i think we are ready to roll dude i want to see you play valorant i don't think there will be valorant content on the channel however i'm glad that you want to see that perhaps one day again i can't promise anything I guess we can roll. I'm just like double checking. Wait, before we roll, I want to get a, a a reanimator. I don't have a reanimator here. Somebody kept commenting that I had a reanimator in my chest. Oh, there we go. There, there it is. 
That was the reanimator puggers. Shout out to the dude. Oh, plus we have another reanimator. That's great. So we have this reanimator, which should be probably enough. Do I have any more reanimators in my inbox? If I don't, then I'm going to get another one. Oh, we have one more here. That's it. If this reanimator and another one that I have in my inbox, if that doesn't suffice, then hey, I'm going to take an L in clearing those 99 waves. Is it possible for you to quickly show what the transport hub uh, looks like if you have cleared it, killed all the zombies? Make sure to go to my channel to live streams and make sure to check out like the thousands of live streams that we've done and there's a bunch of uh, transport hubs there already. Uh, let's go to the Blackport PD. Do we need to clear port laboratory for the boat? Yes. No, wait, actually for the laboratory, you don't need to clear the lab for the boat. I don't think so, at least. Most of the boat items can be gotten from the sewers. You go to the port, but you don't need to clear the laboratory. Does the chopper bug work on the farm location? I don't know. I haven't used it. It doesn't really matter to me because the the, 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 the farm location is already pretty easy. Oh, repair your MGLs first. I did not repair them. Okay, we're going to go and do it. I will definitely go and do this. Hey, brainless zombie Cyric. Welcome to the stream, Sabi. Welcome, welcome. Cyric is indeed brainless. Because once again, I've forgotten to repair my grenade launchers. Hey, let's go back there. Let's try to repair them. Why does a port have a laboratory? I have no idea. It's kind of weird when you think about it. We have a port. There are the sewers and there's the laboratory in the ports. And plus we have another thing where we send the, the packages there. So there are like three locations in one. Interesting. Yo, Jerry OP, thanks for the super chat. Everybody, a gangsta until Cyric with the notepad shows up. Anyway, love your streams. Thanks, Jerry OP. Welcome to the stream. Glad to see you here. And glad that you enjoyed that notepad. I'll be pulling up. Pulling out that notepad uh, more frequently, I guess. Because why not? Maybe I'll add more stuff to it. It's been a while since I've added anything to it. So today was the first time when I've actually added something to that notepad. Maybe we'll get some more cool ideas and I'll add more stuff to that notepad. Alright, we have repaired everything, ladies and gentlemen. We are ready. Let's just get the brutalizer. And then we can roll... Uh, oh no, just armor is increased. That's fine. That's fine. I would have preferred to get the other thing. The 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 extra health, but that's fine. By extra health, I meant the, the reanimator stuff. Let's get the brutalizer. And once again, Jerry OP, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream, mate. So yeah, maybe there will be more content on that <laughs> notepad. I understand the sewers make sense, but the whole laboratory... What's wrong with the laboratory? I don't get it. In the port. I mean, in the port, there's a laboratory. That's pretty much it. I kind of don't get it. What's the what's the confusion about it? I'm completely lost. It was a secret laboratory. It's always about a secret laboratory. It's like what VIP means. Very important person. That's what VIP means. That's what it stands for. Why is the janitor doesn't exist in my lab? Why he's not in your laboratory? Because you need to probably clear the normal mode fully first. I think you need to clear A1, A2, and B1 and B2 sectors. And only then, once you kill the last boss, the janitor will appear there. I might be mistaken. I might be wrong, but maybe somebody can correct me, but I think that's what you gotta do. You gotta clear the, the normal mode first. I don't think you have to clear the hard mode for the dude to show up. Okay, we've gotten the brutalizer. And I guess we can start rolling, ladies and gentlemen, like officially. Let's begin our rolling journey. What is the strongest boss? Probably the hard mode. Uh, Icicle. Is his name Icicle? 
I think his name is Popsicle, Icicle, whatever the dude's name is, I forgot. I keep forgetting his name. I never remember his name. Mister, can you do a poll on how many people got the division box? Uh, it kind of doesn't matter, so I don't think we'll do it. But thanks for the suggestion. We still have a few more days to, to do that poll. I'll do the poll once the season is over. Kinda. Last time, probably like half of you or something had the thing, so I assume there will be more of you. We've done that poll like during the last live stream or something. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you have already gotten the division box. And we still have like, what, five more days or something before the thing ends? Yeah, we still have actually two more days, not five more days. We still have two more days. So if you still haven't gotten your division box, make sure to get it. And I guess let's start blasting these grenade launchers. I got them. We might as well just use them on the third wave already. Yeah, yeah. Which boss is hardest to beat in Lazarus? We just literally spoke about that. Uh, the icy dude, I forgot his name. Little Icicle. Yeah, probably the Little Icicle. I really don't know his name. And nobody told me the name in the chat. I can't believe that nobody remembers his name. When the Forlorn Fair. I don't have a slightest clue when the Forlorn Fair will come back. Nobody knows. Wouldn't be surprised if it'll come back in January. I'll be a little bit disappointed, not gonna lie. Because if it comes out in January, that means we're not gonna get anything new in January. But again, if we get nothing new... Or at least the Forlorn Fair, then obviously I would choose Forlorn Fair. Icebreaker. Yes, his name is the Icebreaker. Thanks, guys. I think, I think I was talking about the Icebreaker. The phone is too small and PC too big. Try to play on an iPad. So it says brand links. Okay, that's a... I guess a big brain idea. If phone is too small, PC is too big, an iPad too medium, then what do I do? What do I do then? Okay, these dudes are dead. Also, I probably have to remind that. Make sure to pick up as many cards as possible. I mean, make sure to pick up those cars regularly, like every two to three waves, because there's only a limited amount of dead bodies that can be on the map. And once you reach that limit, the cards will start despawning. There are plenty of people confirming that already. Plenty of people have lost a bunch of cards, so make sure to pick them up. There we go. Now let's go to wave number eight. Don't be a silly goose and don't lose your cards. I've even seen myself personally a uh, card despawn. Once I had like a bunch of dead bodies on the map here, and I started another wave and I saw a card despawn in front of my eyes. That did happen. Buying a PC for last on Earth is like buying a bicycle to sail the ocean. I mean, you do be like that. Welcome to my world. Last on Earth, as I said many times already, a game made by gods for gods. So, guys, the poll is kind of fine, though. Should we play something new or continue last on Earth? And 70% of you voted for last on Earth, so I guess we'll keep grinding last on Earth. So, whoever asked, like, why we don't play anything else, that was the reason. Last on Earth, baby. LDRE for life. How do we get Molotovs? You don't. You get five of them at the... whatever the place is called. At the Christmas event. And that's it. You don't get any more of them. That's all you get. I think we'll do one more wave and then maybe I'll pick up some more of these cards. Yeah. 
why wouldn't we? I'll just wait until they both drop the shields. So to those that have just joined, we are clearing 99 waves to open up the most expensive crate in the game, which is the purple card. You shouldn't open up those purple cards. I open them up so that you don't have to. So just because I open them up, don't open them. But again, if you want to open them, open them. It's not like you can probably in the first place. And if you get somehow some way 10 blue cards and you decide to open them, then go for it. I remember a few years ago, I posted a video where I opened up five purple cards and I said like how bad those purple cards are and probably like 20% of the comments were just people saying that, oh my God, I would kill for that loot. The loot in purple cards is great, but those people have never opened up a single purple card. They have no clue how bad is the purple card, yet they still said that purple card is amazing. So if you're one of those people, you think that purple cards are great, you can open it up. Don't listen to me. But I... If you are a smart human being, probably don't open up those purple cards. Unless you know what you're doing, then you can do whatever you want. But if you are a new player, then the the tip is to not open them up. But again, you can do whatever you want to do. Why you let damage? Why do I let damage myself? What? I keep getting... Uh, people keep commenting, why do you damage yourself with the grenade launcher? Because that's how the grenade launcher works. When you'll use it, you'll see it. But again, it's your blue cards. If you want to open up those purple cards instead of blue cards, then you can open up purple cards. I'm just saying that purple cards are kind of bad because for 10 blue, you can get 20 guns. And for one purple, you can get four guns. So, I mean, just do some math yourself. Four is less than 20. That is pretty simple. Back in the days, you could at least get purple blueprints. You can still get purple blueprints, but now you get purple blueprints from the arena event. You get purple blueprints from the season pass at level 33. Uh, where's the level 33? There we go. At level 33, you get some extremely rare weapon mods. So it's not really worth it to open up these purple cards now. They definitely have to get some buffs. Would be cool if they brought back the carbon composites. Back in the days, you could get carbon composites not only from purple, but you could also get them from blue cards. But it is what it is. Mega Jensen, welcome to the stream. Psychic genius at math. Well, it do be like that. When you have like three brain cells working at full power, you do realize that four is less than 20. Not everybody can realize that. I get it. I'm very gifted. But thank you. Thank you for noticing these gifts. Do you need a truck wheel anymore else, or are they just for minivan assembly? Uh, I think you'll need more of those trucks to upgrade the minivan. You will assemble that minivan, and then you'll be able to upgrade it. And I'm pretty sure you'll need more wheels, unless I'm wrong. Maybe some people can correct me. As a mid-game player, modding your guns is very, very difficult. It is very difficult, yes. However, it's, it was more difficult before. But it is still very difficult. Yeah, that's why I've never really bothered about modding my weapons in my free-to-play account because it is very, 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 very difficult. It, you need a lot of resources. You need a lot of grind. It all depends how long you play the game, right? If you play the game only like one hour per day max, it'll be very difficult for you to upgrade guns. Like, you'll have to play this game for a really long time. Unless you, like, grind a few hours a day, then only then you'll have enough time to, to do, like, side quests and last day on Earth. Your main quest is Bud Kralfo. You do Bud Kralfo, you farm some stuff, and that's basically it. But if you grind a few hours a day, every day, then you'll have enough time to upgrade everything. You'll get enough loot. Okay, let's start another wave. But still, now it's probably easier than ever to, mod to modify your weapons and get blueprints. It was a lot more difficult back then. Mighty Guns was easy when carbon and gun oils were at PD. Now Mighty Guns is too hard, too much grind. It is a bit more difficult to get carbon composites and uh, gun oil. However, with the Bunker Bravo event, you can get eight or six carbon composites. Like very, very easily just by clearing the second floor. 
gun oil can be obtained from the hard mode bunker alpha. So I still wouldn't say that it's very difficult to, to get those items. I mean, how many carbon composites do we actually need to mod your guns? It was still easier to get them in the blue crates, like that's for sure. However, you get more blueprints now. Before you had nothing to upgrade. Now you have stuff to upgrade, but you don't have the resources. Because now basically almost everybody can get purple blueprints. Which is amazing. Just recycle guns. Plus you can just recycle guns to get those items. Oh no, I'm out of armor. That's not cool. I should have been more careful with it. I was able to do 26, 27 waves with just one armor. Usually you should just keep one armor for 20 waves. Interesting. Okay, let's go for the wave 28. Can you clear 99 waves with only melee weapons and healing items? No. Impossible. I think we can do perhaps one more wave and then it'll pick up everything. How to get rich in lives. Make sure to check out my free-to-play playlist. Link is down in the description. Check out also the frequently asked question section in the description. We're at seven blue. That's pretty awesome. I just noticed that. We are at wave 30 and we already have seven blue cards. That's respectable in my humble opinion. It's a lot of blue. You usually get one blue per 10 waves. Kind of as the rule of thumb. Sometimes you get more, sometimes you get less. But hey, sometimes we're doing well. Hey, but hey, for now we're doing well. However, just because we're doing good now doesn't mean that we'll keep doing great all the time. Sometimes you won't get a lot of blue cards for like 50 waves and then at the end you'll get more blue cards. Sometimes you won't get any blue cards. There were people that have gotten like only seven, like six. I think I've gotten once like seven blue cards from 99 waves. So it does happen. Some people have gotten even less than that. So sometimes people can be unlucky. So your voice is too low. I don't believe that. It is the same. Everything is still fine. Try to add volume on your, on your side. I don't think it can get any louder. How many other guns should I bring to do 99 waves if I only have five grenade launchers? With five grenade launchers, you can clear like what, 65 waves, I guess? Or something like that? I don't remember, back in the days I knew how many guns you had to bring per wave. You use at least a gun per wave, probably a gun and a half. Or you need two guns per three waves. I don't remember what's the... What's the, what's the, what's the ratio? But you need a lot of guns. Your mic is low, my volume is max, says so Damix. Get a better phone, I guess, because the mic is fine. It's always been the same. I haven't changed anything. I haven't changed anything in, 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 in forever. It's always been like this, guys. Guys, can you hear me? Sorry, I don't hear you. God damn it. Lucas's mic is good, thanks. I mean, it should be good, unless like everybody said that the mic is too quiet, then maybe it is too quiet, but I don't know what I can change here right now because it's always been the same. So I wouldn't believe that it's broken. Plus I test it every time before I go live. So everything's fine. I love these PD live streams. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome to the stream. I'm glad that you're enjoying these PD live streams. Yeah, it sounds fine now. What do you mean it sounds fine now? I didn't do anything! Psych, thanks for fixing the microphone. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. Do we have any other problems? Is the game too, too dull? We can make it brighter. 
There we go. I just made it brighter. Oh my god, sorry. It's so much better. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. It's too loud, says the A. Okay, I fixed it. Now it should be quieter. Oh my god, it's so much better. You're welcome, the A. Is it possible to use Molotovs during waves and be useful? No. Because we only have five Molotovs. We don't have more Molotovs. If we had more Molotovs, we could like maybe come out with some more strategies. Maybe they would be useful or something, but no. The only useful thing where you can use those Molotovs probably is at the fourth floor on that cocoon, right? You throw it and the cocoon will be able to get all the damage because the Molotovs will, uh, the Molotov will stay on the floor and it'll stick to that cocoon and the cocoon doesn't run away. Probably. I guess. Other than that, Molotovs are very bad. Borderline horrible. How do you get that gun? It's from the VIP. What? Can you repeat that? Yes, guys, I can repeat that. I don't know what, but smash the like button. Okay, let's go to another wave. We're almost halfway done. I can't believe it. I mean, we're only level 40. Uh, only wave 40 and we're like, hey, halfway done. Oh, yes, Cocoon. Excellent idea, Psych. We'll try that tomorrow. Again, it's not my idea, so I don't want to claim it that I came up with it. Somebody said that in the chat. Oh, wait. Who said that in the chat? I don't remember how we came up with it in any case. It is completely my idea. If you want to use that idea, you got to pay me royalties. That's it. Mm -hmm. But uh, all jokes aside, it's probably... Like, the best idea to use those Molotovs on the Cocoon. I don't know where else you can use it. And I wish we had more of them. I wish we could craft them. I wish we had a table. Where we could craft these random things. Or maybe they were so cheap that we could craft them on the go. Okay, let's pick up... Yeah, let's do one more wave and then I'll pick up the cars and then I'll switch the armor. Smart. Very smart. One grenade, 15 waves without breaking it. Uh, wait, so grenade launcher lasts for 15 waves, not for 13. Yeah, it probably lasts 16 times. You can do 16 shots from the grenade launcher. So you have 15... Shots. No, no, no way you need 15 shots. No way it does 15 shots. Does it do 15 shots? I don't remember how many shots it does. What's up, Sark? Sorry I'm late. Welcome, Wanda, to the stream. Welcome, welcome. And you're forgiven. Everyone's forgiven today. Yep, 16 shots on the grenade launcher. Okay, so then you can do 15 shots, okay? Probably that makes sense. So then you need only like six grenade launchers or something. To clear almost 99 waves. I have two trunks of guns. Can I do the bunker bravo run to assemble my ATV? They're not fully modded though. No. You need to clear bunker bravo many, many, many times. You should clear bunker bravo only during the bunker bravo event. And uh, unless something changes in the future and they remove that bunker bravo event. But as of right now, only clear it during the bunker bravo event. And, uh, what else? Yeah, and that's it. And you probably won't have enough guns to clear that bunker, probably. You need to clear it 30 times to get 30 gas cylinders, unless you already have other resources for it. It's like, will there be enough time to clear the snowy junkyard for levels? I have no idea. It depends how far you are in that Nomad's Pass already. I do not appreciate being forgiven. Take it back, said the Okay, you're not forgiven then. You're not forgiven, DA. If that makes you happy, or you're forgiven if you're happy, you can choose whatever you want. Oh my goodness, I checked the chat and I died. Oh my god, Tark, you're always blaming us! I, I have to be honest, right? I checked the chat. I checked the chat and I got confused. Somebody said that they just started yesterday and uh, they... They did what? 
Oh, if there will be enough time to do that icy junkyard, probably not. You have only like three days left, so no. If you just started yesterday, you won't be able to do it. And I already used that one grenade uh, reanimator. Okay, so I'll try to be more careful because I only have one more. Let's go for it. If I die this time, then that'll be kind of disappointing. So I'm gonna perhaps use more meds or something. I don't know. Was the fastest way to level up is by going to Bunker Alpha with the healer's buff that gives you double the experience and you will level up fast and you will get a lot of loot. Okay, we might as well eat a few carrots. Well, we got them, and let's go for a few more waves. A few more waves of me and 40 more waves. And then we'll see how many purple cards I'll open up. One, two, maybe three. Hmm. We'll see. Well, at least one, that's what I can say for sure. Maybe more than two. Maybe less than two. I don't know. Nailgun has infinite ammo. It does have infinite ammo, but it lasts only for one hour. So we can use it non-stop for one hour. I think I calculated a while ago how much damage it can do. It can do, it can do either 300,000 damage or 30,000 damage. It's probably 300,000 damage or something like that. I don't remember. It's been a really long time ago. It can do a lot of damage. Oh no, I just wasted a grenade launcher. Let's get another grenade launcher. Let's now pick up all of these cards and let's go for another wave. I did 50 waves in the last PD event. Uh, got a total of zero blue cards. Wow. That is very unlucky. If that's true, that's very unlucky. This and let's go, baby. Sirak not responding to Sirak. What does that mean? I'm a little bit confused. Please elaborate. We still have enough armor. We can still probably do 10 more waves with this armor. Maybe not really. We'll see. The, is it worth gathering lights to decorate all nomads' houses? I still got four of them to finish. Yes, it's worth it as you get more points by decorating those houses. It depends. You get a few hundred more points by decorating those houses. So you should decorate those houses. Been playing for five years, still cannot get the Glock silencer. Oof. That's a bit sad. Hopefully you'll get it soon. Is there a way to get a guaranteed Glock silencer? Don't you get it like from some sort of an event? No, probably no. I don't remember. But hey, now it's easier than ever to get purple blueprints. So hopefully you'll get it. It took me six years to get the machete blueprint, the blade for the machete. But hey, hopefully you'll get your silencer. Oh no, my armor. Okay, so after this wave, maybe I'll clear this one. I'll do one more. And then I'll switch the armor. Let's go. This guy. Elaboration. If Sirak is your name, why aren't you answering when we call you Sirak? Sirak. I'm still very confused. 
extremely confused. Confusion is beyond comprehension. I can't describe how confused I am, so please elaborate further. I got machete blueprints a few days ago. Oh, nice. Congrats on that machete blueprint. I watched your old blueprints video and all of my bl weapons are so good. The AK is shredding. Very nice. I'm glad that you found that blueprint video helpful if you put on those blueprints. And yeah, that blueprint video is still relevant because they haven't added any new blueprints and nothing really has changed. And if something has changed, nobody feels anything. So it's still the same. Nothing has changed though. I'm pretty certain of it. It's like, should we invest in the settlement? Depends what you mean to invest. I'm not a financial advisor. If you want to invest your time, you do whatever you got to do. About the settlement, as I always say, it's nice to get the daily loot. So progress there as far as you can to get more daily loot, and that's it. Other than that, you need... A lot of, and a lot of, and a lot of, and a lot of, and a lot of dedication to grind in the settlement. Some people say otherwise. But it just depends how much time you have to spend in the game. Like, the settlement is very grindy. An average last on Earth player is not going to play that long in the settlement. It's not worth it. That's, like, the biggest reason. And second of all, it's very tedious. It's very boring. There is nothing to do, and it's not worth it. So an average player is not going to spend an insane amount of times in the settlement. An insane amount of time in the settlement, so don't probably bother about it. Just get your daily loot. Further elaboration. We named you Siroc, and you ignore us even though you don't need this elaboration whatsoever. What's for dinner? I never ignored it. I literally read the comments, but whatever. Please elaborate on that. And what's for dinner? Uh, I have no idea. Actually, I do have an idea. I've written down what I'll be eating. So I've read, I write down everything that I eat, because why not? So as soon as I'm done with the live stream, I'll eat some canned pineapple. I'll eat some, I'll eat two sandwiches with, with chicken, cheese, and I'll eat two eggs. And for dinner, which I'll eat a few hours later, will be 30 grams of chips, 15 grams of pistachios, 80 grams of quinoa, and two eggs. That's it. That's my food, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. To Happy Sykes live stream. My brain cells can't elaborate further. Sorry, I let you down. You're forgiven. As I said today, I forgive everybody. How many calories is that? 1,400 for both of those things. is going to be around 1,400 calories. <laughs> we speak about calories. Sorry, like, yeah, calories. Menu, please. Yeah, that's the whole menu. Let him cook first. I mean, most of the dishes that I said that are very fast to cook. There's almost nothing to cook there, so. You need more protein, too much chicken food, says DA. Please elaborate further. Probably with all the things that I mentioned here. Uh, we got about... Uh, wait, 30 here. And 40 here. That's 70 grams of protein. Okay, we gotta open up another chest here. Your mic is fine. Uh, thanks. Thanks, thanks. The response is probably a little bit delayed, but thanks. I'm glad to hear that it's fine. How to get easy weapons, Glocks, machetes, Bunker Alpha. You get armor from Bunker Alpha as well and by repairing your leather set to the reinforced set. Today only waves on something else later as well. Uh, we always have something else. Uh, the the helicopter. If you mean by something new, something different, we will be assembling the helicopter. Perhaps go into bunker, Charlie. Perhaps bunker Zulu if we have enough time. Chips, bread, that quinoa grain, eggs, but not enough meat. That's four eggs, which each egg is about like six grams of protein. So that's 24 grams of protein just from eggs. Kinwa has a little bit of stuff. Other stuff has a little bit of stuff. The chicken sandwich has some protein in it. Some cheese has some protein. 
It's enough protein, brother. I did eat already meat today. I already had 300 grams of, uh, of fish. Who counts their food in grams? I count my food in grams. I already had 300 grams of fish. I had some... What else did I have? Uh, rice. And some mix of veggies. And in the morning, I had another chicken sandwich with two eggs. I usually try to avoid eating meat before bed. So I try to eat the meat during the day. And before bed, all of my protein is gonna come from mostly eggs, as they're pretty easy to digest. But I sometimes also pop meat in the evening, it depends. I'll let you off, all that fish is plenty. Says D8, thanks homie. Thank you for letting me off, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Opinion on mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms? Um, depends which mushrooms we're talking about. If we're talking about like basic uh, button mushrooms or whatever they're called. Uh, they're kind of cool, I guess. I used to eat them. They just take time to cook. Takes an insane amount of time to fry them. I don't like raw mushrooms. I like to cook them pretty well. Otherwise, I'm kind of scared to eat them. It's easy to get, at least for me, it's easy to get stomach issues if I don't cook mushrooms properly. So they take a long time to cook for me, and for that reason, I don't eat them often. But they're pretty cool. Uh, are you seriously going to assemble the helicopter? You cannot assemble the helicopter. I'm just joking. Sometimes people join here and they ask, Oh, without this, what else are you gonna do? It's as if we have, like, a bunch of insane things and every time they expect me to do something crazy, so I usually... Play. I... I joke around. And somebody spoke about that I forgot about the suburbs. I don't see the comment there anymore, but the suburbs are not in the game. That's why we didn't forget about the suburbs. They're not in the game. They're just on the map. You can't really go there, so we didn't forget anything. Yo, the maker, welcome to the stream. helicopter is craftable though the helicopter is not craftable it's not in the game you cannot craft the helicopter dude i just forgot what we were doing the past like 30 waves were done on autopilot i literally don't know what we've done and i have no idea how we survived here that's good so i gotta be a bit more careful i still have one reanimator though like in my bloodstream so that's fine what gun is that it's the brutalizer AKA the nail gun. Back in the days, every newcomer would get it for like three hours. Now they don't, that's sad. But yeah, the dish was mu with mushrooms was pretty cool. Actually, it was my, one of my favorite dishes. Uh, you fry a bunch of mushrooms in a bigger frying pan. And then you add... I don't know, it's like... Cream. It's like thick milk or something. You add that. Then you add... A nice bouillon there. With some water in it. And then you add some pasta. But the pasta that's already kind of like cooked. Like almost like I would say 60, 70, 80% cooked. Then you add everything to that stuff, and then you cook it all together, and it kind of comes out pretty nicely. But as I said, that takes time to cook, and... There's that. But that's pretty much it. I don't really know a lot of other dishes with... Uh, with, 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 with... With mushrooms. Pasta comes good with everything. That is true. That is absolutely true. As I said last time, 
some of you keep asking me about the dinners and other stuff. We might I might start posting the the cooking with Cyric for the members only. That's just an idea. I'm not sure yet, but maybe that'll be fun. Quickly noted secret recipe. Yes. Very secret recipe. Also a little bit of garlic. Pasta with pasta. I never tried eating that. I mean, sometimes when I have like 50 grams of one type of pasta and then I have 50 grams of another uh, brand of pasta, sometimes I'll just mix them together and pop them. So yeah, sometimes it's pasta with pasta. You're absolutely right. Sometimes it is pasta with pasta. Pasta with shrimp is nice. I've never tried shrimp in my entire life. And Cyric, you should try shrimp. Shrimp. Perhaps one day I'll try it. Maybe. For some reason, I'm not really into trying shrimp. I don't know. I've never tried lobsters. I've never tried shrimp. As close as I get to seafood is fish. The closest I get to seafood is fish. What do you play last on Earth on PC? How do you play last on Earth on PC? By using an emulator. Shrimp is prawns in Europe. I mean, UK probably. <laughs> prawns! I've never eaten prawns, so... With water. I eat my prawns with water. Shrimp reminds me of chicken. You're missing out, Cyric. Uh, I don't think so. Perhaps, who knows, maybe one day I will try shrimp. Just don't like them, and I'm probably not gonna bother about them. I don't even know the price of shrimp. If they're more expensive than chicken, then that's not even in the list. Unless they're cheaper than shrimp. Unless they're cheaper than chicken. If they're not cheaper than chicken, then it's not even... Then I won't even consider it. That's about it. Also, if it doesn't taste like chicken, I also won't consider it. Isn't it weird that we tried so many fish, but the fish has never tried us? I'm pretty sure fish have, have eaten some... Some dead bodies. Please consider it. Uh, doubt it. Thought prawns were a different animal. I never really thought about it. I mean, what's the difference between a prawn and a and 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 a, and a shrimp? I have no idea. I'd probably have to Google that, and then I learn that it's probably the same thing. But I never really thought about it. Fish literally eat our skin in some places. So yeah, it's fair enough. They eat our skin. <laughs> we eat them. Fair enough. Oh no. I didn't attack this brawler. I sent $5 for you to try a shrimp. Stop it! I don't want to try shrimp. I'm not trying shrimp. After this wave, can you please check was the last thing you can craft? The helicopter, which you cannot craft because you don't have tungsten. Tungsten is not in the game. Shrimps and prawns are basically cockroaches, but uh, but live in water. Yeah, that's that's one of the main reasons why I kind of don't want to eat shrimps. But hey, maybe one day I'll check it out, but I really doubt it. Just the legs, the amount of legs the shrimps have, it's like... Uh, I don't know. I get shivers.
Have you tried the other game Kefir made, Frostborn? It looks pretty interesting. I'm not even sure if Frostborn is still Kefir's game. Is it still Kefir's game? Frostborn. I have played Frostborn on the channel, though. I have played it. And yeah, it's still from Kefir. Okay, cool. They moved their other game, the Grim Souls, to some else, the Brickwood or whatever, the Brickworks. I don't know. Acrophobia or something like that. I have no idea if I have any phobia with like many legs. Maybe I just don't like a lot of legs. That's pretty much it. Grimsel is still available in the store. The Grimsel is still available in the store, but the developer, it's listed, it's a different developer now. <laughs> Leg phobia. Yes. Okay, we have 18 blue, which is not bad. That's really good for like 100 waves. And we are at wave 92. So you know what? We have succeeded, ladies and gentlemen. We have gotten a decent amount of blue cards. How to get tungsten bar? Please tell me it's not in the game. So you cannot get it. Do you speed cube last live stream? No, it did not speed cube last live stream. I mean, you can always check. The live stream is always there. You can always go back to the live stream and check if we speed cubed or not, but we did not. Maybe this live stream will speed cube at the end. I doubt it. Because I don't even remember. I'm not even sure if I can still speed cube. Does anyone know if Genesis weapon armor penetration work on winter zombies this... Bear, icy armor, just wondering since I just started and don't have a lot of those weapons. I don't think so. I haven't tried it though. I wouldn't suggest wasting neutralizing weapon on the winter of the spare event. And plus you haven't... Uh, you just started it. I don't really know if I would waste those weapons on that stuff. But I don't know, up to you. I'm not sure if they work or not work there. Was it very important to do this Christmas snow event? I don't know. If you didn't do it, you didn't do it. That's fine. If you did it, that's great. You've gotten some extra loot. You what? You could have gotten an extra free ATV transmission, I guess. You could have gotten a division box. There's that. Which emulator are you using to play Last on Earth? Uh, Mimo Player. But sake, is it great? I have no idea. I just use Mimo Player. There are a bunch of other emulators that you can use. There's LD player, there's Blue Stag, there's Nox. I don't even know if anybody uses Nox anymore. There's Nox, there is uh, probably something else. Okay, let's go for another wave. I, I use Nox. I use Nox as well. I used Nox for probably a year. When the game came out, the, I used Nox for a long time. I don't know why I switched to Blue Stacks. There was a reason why I switched from... From Nox to Blue Stacks. It probably wasn't that good even back then. But then I switched to Mimu Player because my game was lagging a lot on Blue Stacks. Especially at the base, it was kind of stuttering. And Mimu Player didn't have that issue.
But now I'd say blue stacks and Mimo player, they're probably both the same. Also, LD player is also really nice. So I guess that's it. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have cleared 99 waves. Now let's get ready to open up a few purple cards. We have gotten 21, ladies and gentlemen. 21 blue cards. Not too shabby. That robot scared the crap out of me. What robot? What are we talking about? Um, let's try to... Okay, let's see what we've gotten. We've gotten a lot of green. We've gotten 21 blue. Okay, let's exchange everything for green. All of these green for blue. And in total, we've gotten 29 blue cards. Very beautiful. Now, let's get medkits that we still have in that locker. Then let's get back to the base. Let's drop everything and then let's open up at least two purple. Why not? You shouldn't open up purple cards unless you know what you're doing. But at the end of the day, you do whatever you gotta do. 2024 and they still didn't make rad zombies take damage from MGL shots when they keep their shield up. I mean, come on. I wouldn't be surprised if that's intentional. Probably it is intentional. And ladies and gentlemen, we have leveled up. To level 80. We've gotten a few extra things. We've gotten another skin. Are you going to play on the free-to-play account today? I don't think so. There's not much left to do on the free-to-play. That's the reason why we don't play on the free-to-play. This account is more fun than the free-to-play account. The free-to-play account is only fun when we do something like, oh, how to get rich as a beginner, which is like clearing bunker alpha or like clearing airdrops or like doing something else. Other than that, the free-to-play content is very boring. That's why there is no more free-to-play content. Because there's nothing else to do in the free-to-play account. Free-to-play account clears Bunker Alpha for the 50th time. Like, that's pretty... Pretty boring content. <laughs> With wall tricks. So I'd rather just do, like, more fun content on this account. Like, us opening up purple cards. Us doing, like, something else. Have you finished the trolley? Nope, you cannot finish it because uh, the computer chips or whatever they're called, they're still not in the game. Let's drop the grenade launchers. Title of the background music. Go to the previous live stream and at the very bottom in the description, uh, YouTube usually tags the music from their library. That's where you can find it. Also, you can get that stuff from the description. There's the official soundtrack playlist for Last on Earth. Um, okay, let's drop the grenade launcher. Do a new series with no gun challenge? Maybe. Maybe. Like playing last on Earth without using any guns. It's a pretty lame challenge because most of the free-to-play accounts are like that. And we can get another chopper without without a Glock. Without guns. Like that's that's doable. Nothing much is going to change. However, that's like easy content. But I don't know. We'll see. Can't promise anything. Let's hop on the- wait, I cannot go there yet. I didn't take enough tickets. Um, we need only 20. Mm. 20 of these and uh, 3 blue. That sounds good enough. So there we go. 2 purple plus 3 blue cards. That's nice. Can you finish the boat without using armor? That's a pretty good idea. Uh, you can do it. I'm not gonna do that idea. I don't want to steal that idea from you. You can... 
use that your idea, idea yourself without using any armor to assemble the boat. That's a pretty nice, nice, nice idea. Oh, let's go here. And yeah, to assemble the boat, it requires a lot of grind as well. That is pretty boring. Opening purple cards is waste of blue cards. It do be like that. Welcome to Happy Star's live stream, where everything you do, where everything we do is a waste, but it's by design. Let's, 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 let's exchange these 20 blue for purple. I'm doing it for the content. If you don't open them, that's it. Or do whatever you want to do. Let's open it up. And let's see what we can get here. Please no Winchesters. There we go. One Winchester already inside of a blue crate. We've gotten another Winchester. That's the second one. And at least we didn't get a third one. We did get this muzzle break for the Winchester in... Inside of that crate, and now inside of the purple card, we have gotten another Winchester. That's disgusting. Plus, we've gotten this tactical stock for the AK. And here we've gotten another Winchester. So four Winchesters plus a Winchester blueprint. Uh, kind of bad. That's why Winchesters are terrible because they just take up space for from better weapons. I could have gotten like four extra M16s, but nope, I've gotten a Winchester instead. That's why it's a horrible weapon. It doesn't have any durability. If it, if it had like triple the durability, maybe then. At least double. But even with double durability, it would still be a pretty bad weapon. So that's pretty sad, ladies and gentlemen. The crate opening was kind of an L. But it, it is what it is. It's like, did you notice Kefir changed the mods now? You can't see the unmade mod buffs in the customization place. Yes. Yes, indeed. That kind of sucks. Okay, let's get more guns. And let's bring the useful stuff back to the base. There we go, this and this. That is it. I don't think there's anything else we can take here. Let's skedaddle. Is acid bath worth it? Worth it? Yes, it is worth it. You should probably get it. It is kind of expensive-ish to make, but you can get it. You'll be able to open up infected floppy crates someday. Maybe you'll get the crane keys someday. It's not extremely worth it though. It's worth it to have it as a storage. Like it's worth it to get either a infected floppy crate or a sunken crate. Then. When you open it up, you'll have more storage in the base because you'll be able to store that stuff inside of that crate if you don't take everything out at once. Can you teach me Bunt Crowd for level 3 wall trick? Uh, check out the free-to-play playlist. So I can recycle the Dragunov. Yes, we're gonna do this. There we go. You know what's up. We're gonna definitely recycle that Dragunov. Probably right now because we have it. Plus, we've gotten another Dragunov blueprint. From the level 80. So let's do it. Let's get ready. This and this. Yo, Matthew! Oh 
Matthew, thanks for being a member for 27 months. That's insane. Thanks, Matthew. Thanks for everything. Thanks for the support of the channel for such a, such a long, long time. 27 months is not three months. It's not 15 months. It's 27 months. Thanks, mate. Looking forward to 2024, see? Keep up the great work, but don't be afraid to take a day off here and there. Also, should I leave my 52 level? Thanks, man. Thanks for keeping the memes alive. Thanks for being here. Thanks for everything. Thank you, thank you. Speaking of a day off, I thought that maybe I'll do some YouTube shorts. I've usually never done them, but I kind of already made two YouTube shorts. So in case when I'll be ever like taking a day off or something, I'll post YouTube shorts instead. I don't know, we'll see. That's an idea. I already made two last on Earth YouTube shorts. I thought I'll never do them, but I was like, whatever. There's nothing else to make now anyways. Content's very dry, so we'll see. Thanks, Matthew. Thanks for everything. How do you farm air filters? From Bunker Alpha, you get a decent amount of air filters from there. I'm not 100% sure I used to get air filters from airdrops, maybe? Or maybe now I'm not sure even anymore. I'm not 100% sure. Let's drop that here. Let's drop uh, the guns in whatever rack. We gotta destroy five turrets to get ready for another raid. So I guess let's do it. Right, why not? Plus we might open up a red crate and a floppy crate. It's a lot of crates that we can open up. Let's get these. Let's get a tactical set because we'll be just clearing the fourth floor. We can do this. Ladies and gentlemen, we can do this. Perhaps, perhaps a minigun here and there. And we can roll, ladies and gents. Also, let's not forget to feed the dog. That's definitely enough guns. Unless we'll be clearing the hard mode fourth floor. I'm not sure yet. Oh, also I forgot the food. But food, I mean meds. Let's get stack of first aid kits. And let's go. Oh, use the Dragunov. We also need to recycle it, yes. But use it, I mean to recycle it. There's nothing really to do with the Dragunov. We will recycle it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get the Dragunov blueprint. Let's get the Dragunov itself. And first of all, let's get the Dragunov blueprint. This is the polymer stock, which I already have apparently. Another useless Dragunov blueprint that goes here. And let's recycle this Dragunov. Let's see what kind of goods we can get here. Is it goop? Is it anything good? Disgusting, ladies and gentlemen. Disgusting. Disappointment is immeasurable. Could have saved so many grenade launchers if I hadn't just deleted all of them. This recycler, but hey, it is what it is. It's all for the memes and giggles. Oh, my 
almost died. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you. <coughs> H2O is going to kill me. Okay, let's go back. Wait, I didn't feed my doggo. Oh my goodness. Just some of the comments, guys. I read some of the comments while drinking water and I almost choked. I did get the chicken, the turkey, but I didn't feed them here. Let's go. Choked in water. It do be like that. Wrong hole, buddy. Yep. It went straight to my lungs. I just inhaled a little bit of water. You're dying, mate. It do be like that. I can confirm. Have you gotten any ATV transmissions from the transport up? I haven't, but some people have gotten them. So I believe it is possible to get them. Want to know if it's worth getting that crate? It's worth getting that crate, as I never open up that crate. I think I've opened up only one crate there. That has a chance to give you that ATV transmission, but some people have gotten those ATV transmissions from the transport hub, and if you need them, then you should probably open up those crates, as you will get them. Probably, maybe, if you open up many crates. Guys, I'll need the password. Do you guys? Oh, I just realized this thing looks like a smile. Look at these. There are like two eyes and this is like a smile here. Amazing. Smash like, smash subscribe. If you like smiles and I'll go on Discord. Discord.gg slash happysyric or link is down in the description. And uh, yeah. Okay, where is the bunker alpha? There we go. Today's fifth. Uh, seven one one nine one. Seven one 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 nine one. Very good. Worked, ladies and gentlemen. It bloody worked. So yeah, we're gonna go through the fourth floor, and then we can do a raid. And we're also gonna open up a floppy crate. How do you access emoji and mobile last on earth? Why do you need emojis in mobile last on earth? I kind of don't get it. Let's open that up. And hey, let's drop the 150 yellow tickets. Actually, we needed just 50 to open that up, but hey, that's fine. We'll add more. We'll insert this floppy crate here. So just in case, if I forget about this floppy crate, please remind me. Because we need to open it up. We need to get a... I'll open up green, yellow, and other crates as well. So remind me to open up these crates as well at the end. So I need to open up the floppy crate and these crates here. That's it. That's what you gotta remind me. Thanks. I think he means the wave menu, I think. Oh, the wave menu. You have to hold the... Just tap and hold on your character. And that's it. And you'll be able to do things here. You have to just tap and hold your character. Let's let's start the fourth floor, ladies and gentlemen. Let's begin. It's like, have you ever played Last Dinner? Perhaps one day I'll check it out. I've never heard of it. Perhaps one day, though. I didn't get any spread shots. Okay. I usually try to spread shot this room. Apparently not this time. Are you not tired of Bunker Alpha? Tiredness is just a feeling. How can you get tired of Last on Earth, right? Is the game created by gods for gods? Impossible to get tired in Last on Earth. Impossible. Last day on Earth is the bread and butter of everything. 
you feel tired, you play last on Earth and you clear Bunker Alpha. To not be tired. There we go. I started Christmas event like 10 days in and I think I'm actually going to get the division boxes, Matthew. Congrats on that. This time the Christmas event was well done, I think. A lot of people were able to get their division boxes. It wasn't as annoying. You didn't have to spend every nanosecond of your life grinding this event. So, yeah, there's that. Oh, we also need to destroy five turrets, so we gotta destroy them. Last day on Earth is joy of life. Yes, 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 yes. I confirm. Starts. I wish I would bring back the robbery event. You probably mean the prison event. That stuff was amazing. I don't know why they removed it from the game. Would be cool if it came back. Definitely was fun. I was a little bit disappointed that people didn't like that event. For some reason, I guess it was boring. It was considered boring, but it was like one of the most unique events that we had in the game and people thought it was boring. I don't know. I really liked it. It was one of the more memorable seasons for sure. I don't even know if a lot of people thought that it was boring. It's just that that's what I kind of remember about that season. You maybe if you have to do that thing every single day. The rewards weren't that great and you had to do it like, yeah, probably every day. So maybe then it got boring, but if you had to clear it like every few days, then I think it's fine. It was a really nice event. I don't know why they removed it. it should have been a permanent location easy. Like that prison thing should have been a permanent location. I don't know why they removed it. They have to bring it back. It's already there. They already have everything. They, they can just modify some things and that's it. The settlement is kind of like that event now. Is it? I mean, not really. I mean, we do have expeditions, but in that prison, prison season, there were raiders. You had to sneak past those raiders. You had to open up some boxes. I don't even remember any uh, everything that we had to do there. But yeah, it's somewhat something like that. In expedition, there's one character opening up those boxes while the other fight. So it is something like that, but yeah, the prison season was a lot better. They should have made expeditions like the prison season. Would have been better. Oh uh, yeah. The things that they removed from the game, things I wish they brought back, are the... Uh, the, 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 whatever they called, mercenaries, right? We also have mercenaries now, but these are fake mercenaries. These are pretty, like, garbage mercenaries. Like, the mercenaries that used to follow us, those mercenaries were great. You could hire them for, like, an hour or something by giving them food or whatever. That was so cool. The game was so much more live. Imagine just going to that mercenary camp and just, like, hey, I, before I go there, I'll go hire a friend with me. And those friends were, like, kind of funny. Some dude would, like, pee constantly. Another dude would do something else. Like, I don't know why they removed that. The game, like, felt so much more alive. I think that was such a great addition to the game. It was insane. I don't know why they removed that. Then they removed the Fort Moss event, which was also kind of cool, I guess. They've also removed uh, the prison season. So we did have some nice... The Echo 1 event was awesome. Yeah, the Echo 1 event was also great. I think the rewards in all of those events were not perfect, definitely. That's why those events were bad. Like, if people didn't like those events, it's because those events had bad... Uh, bad rewards, and that's it. If those events had better rewards, they'd be way better. Like, event can be the worst event in the world, but if it has great rewards, people will like it. Like, it can be the most boring event ever, like the... 
the shipwreck event. People still like the shipwreck event because it's like stupid cheap and you get free loot there. But like the shipwreck event is the most lazy, the most uh, goop event there is. But people like it because it has decent loot. So, hey, I'm a little bit disappointed that they removed, like, really, really some good events. And some things and some features from the game. Should change the name to last event on Earth. <sighs> when are you doing another live stream? We're still not done with this live stream. What do you mean, when another? Probably maybe tomorrow. But we're still not done with this one. We still have plenty of things to do here. Um, I did bring probably a bit too many guns. They nerfed the flare gun for the sake of incendiary ammo and ruined the flare gun, did they? What does the flare gun do now? Does it do four damage instead of five? How did they ruin the flare gun? I, I actually haven't even used it against other zombies. So I don't even know what happened to it. Okay, we need only 30. Um, this, we need only 25 of these, and we need 20 of these. Um, there we go. Let's roll. No, it does 20, and it used to do how much? 25? It always used to do 20 damage per shot. When burning, Wait, before you would shoot and it would do like 20, 20, 20, 20 damage? It would do like 100 damage per shot, right? It used to do 100 without armor. Wait, true, it used to do definitely 100 per shot. It would do like 20 damage uh, like that and then it would do 5 extra, uh, 4 extra shots when it's burning. I know that flare guns were nice. Okay, so they did nerf them then. Okay, I'm not surprised though. Still, Last on Earth, Last Day on Earth is the best game ever, guys. Game created by gods for gods. So its damage went per shot from 100 to... Uh, like what, 36? From 100 to 36? That's kind of sad. Okay, this one. Then we got this. Oh, there we go. There's a gas tank. Nice. And perhaps we can get something else here. A chopper fork. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Now let's try to bring this armor either back to the base. Or we'll leave it at the top of Bunker Alpha. What are you going to do next on your no storage account? What is the next challenge? The no storage account is probably over. I don't think I'll do anything else on it. There's nothing else to do. The no storage series didn't perform that well. They were pretty boring. The The challenge series are not well. Yeah, nothing's really well received in Last Earth right now because we don't get new updates and the game's dying and everything. But yeah, the, the no storage series didn't perform that well. So there's nothing else to continue there. I'm not going to continue it. I'd rather like play scum or anything than do another episode on the no storage. So honestly, I don't think there will be more uh, episodes on on any challenge. Commune, take it or leave it. The community event is pretty goop. So we've opened up the green, yellow, and red crates. Now we need to open up the floppy crate, and then we can go for the right number dos. Actually, the number one of the then. Have you played Seven Days to Die? Yes, I've made a few videos on it and I've made a live stream on it. Maybe a few live streams. Knife for grenade launcher for AK. Uh, 
they're both almost the same. AK grenade launcher, good for the PD. No, it, you require a lot of AKs because it uses a lot of durability. I think you can only do like 10 or 11 shots from your AK. Or something in that ballpark. When do you think they'll announce Bunker Charlie? I don't have the slightest clue. quickly drop the guns ladies and gents and that's it we are done sorting out the inventory that was pretty fast the caps go here the gasoline goes here was the best armor in the game and probably the kevlar armor is the strongest but it's pretty rare Tactical armor is probably like the best because it's common and it's everywhere and it's strong. Music name, the official La Hazard Earth soundtracks, link is in the description. Plus there are some other YouTube music things from the library. And the nails will go here. There we go, we did it, ladies and gents. Can you do an ARC stream someday or some more Rust videos or even uh, Hurt World Live? I've never heard of Hurt World. Hurt World is a game like Rust, but it's dying. Never heard of it. Maybe there will be more ARC or Rust in the future. But yeah, I don't know about Hurt World. Never heard of it. Wait, if the flare gun is really that goop now, and it does only like 36 damage per shot, if it does only like 4 damage with fire damage, then it's garbage. Like, honestly, it's pretty bad. It's almost the same as the Winchester, then. Yikes, I'm disappointed. Okay, we gotta get a C4. Uh, let's up on the chopper, then, and let's get our box. Wouldn't be surprised if that's another infected crate. Actually, I would want another infected crate because we have a new door at the base. And I kind of want to use it. So I want that infected crate. Yeah, now it's irrelevant without the icy armor foes. Even when the icy armor dudes have armor, it still only does four damage, so it's useless. It is garbage. They completely ruined that weapon then. Luckily... The luckiest part about it is uh, we don't really have a lot of flare guns anyways. It's a trash weapon, kind of. Even when it was good, it was still good. But it was very rare to the point that it's almost trash because it was that rare, kind of. So at least it doesn't really matter. At least they didn't nerf a Glock. That's what I'm saying. If they nerfed a Glock, that would have been a bigger difference than the than the flare gun. But at this point, I'm not surprised. Like, we don't get any buffs. We just get nerfs. Actually, we did get a buff. We get more meat from killing deer, and we get more grass when we pick it up. So I guess those were two buffs. And nope, this is not an infected crate. So I don't want to say that we never get buffs. But most of the time, we just get nerfs than buffs. Okay, let's open that up, and let's see. What kind of stuff we can get here? No grenade launcher either. At least we have gotten a full set. Unlike in the infected box where you can get only a mask and that's it. 
10 first aid kits and we are done let's bring the loot back to the base next up the glock has a 20 percent chance to miss i wouldn't be surprised it's always surprising why they make the game more difficult but whatever at this point i don't think about it guys i've been playing this game for six years i'm not really too disappointed with the things i don't know if that's a good or a bad thing they can literally do whatever they want in the game here it won't really matter Because we rarely get anything good. Like, I guess it's just the habit. So yes, they can nerf Glocks and what? I'll say like, oh my god, that change is insanely bad. Like, blah, blah, blah. That's it. And we'll just keep playing the game. Nothing's really going to change about that. Like, do you think the devs will use this new IC armor for places like the suburbs? I do think some of these updates are preparing us uh, for that since it's up north, maybe. Maybe, maybe. As long as people keep giving uh, trash kefir money, they'll keep doing dumb crap, says Justin. I agree with you, and at the same time... I think there's nothing people can do because if people stop giving money, developers will stop working on the game altogether. So I think... I don't know. I might be wrong. Hopefully I am wrong. But also the, the main reason why I feel the, the development has kind of stagnated on Last on Earth is because I feel like there's less revenue made from Last on Earth. So maybe in the developer's eyes, it's not worth it to spend more time on the game. I mean, that would be the only reason. I mean, I don't really see another reasoning why wouldn't they give us better and faster updates if they're making lots of money from the game. Unless, like, I, I don't know what they're doing. Unless they're still getting a lot of money and they're like, that's fine, we don't need to develop anything. I, I don't know. In any case, I'm not a developer. I know nothing. Some things don't make sense. But it is what it is. Uh, let's drop the air filters. Wait, where do I keep them? Oh, actually, we have the new storage box. Yes. So let's drop some of those air filters there. In any case, I always have hopes for last on Earth. They said that we will get a multiplayer update, but it was supposed to come out last year. It didn't. I doubt it'll come out in January because I'm pretty sure they're on vacation right now. So I don't think we'll get anything in January, maybe February, maybe. At best, maybe I'm wrong. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But in January, the best probably update that we can get is going to be the Forlorn Fairy Band, which isn't really an update. But that's probably what will happen. We'll get the Forlorn Fairy event back. Maybe? Maybe. That's just my speculation. And uh, maybe on, in February we'll get something cooler. That's like probably the best case scenario in my eyes. But I don't know. By multiplayer update, they meant like the, the, the settlement. Probably. Because they didn't say that the multiplayer update will be in the crater. And they don't even do the last season flash sales for the seasons like they used to. I don't know. Actually, I never really looked at the shop in the game, so I don't know what they're what they're selling and what they're not selling. I know that the season passes now are extremely expensive. And yeah. Okay, the raiders are gone. We can... Oh no, we are ready to go for the raid, but I haven't worked on the settlement yet today. Excuse me, sir. I'm just gonna replenish the workbenches, then we can dip out of there. 
we have enough uh, charcoal, that's all right. So let's just go there for a second and then we'll get out of there. It's like, which one do you prefer, walls or no walls? What do you mean by that? It's like, is the drill good? Is craftable? You can craft the, the drill, you can get titanium with it, but it's kind of pointless as titanium doesn't really do anything in the game, so you probably shouldn't craft it. Got in some planks. And we've gotten some more iron billets. That's it. Let's drop the rest of the stuff in the chest and let's go for the raid number one. When for or unfair? I don't have a slightest clue. Maybe next month, but again, that's just a speculation. That's just a random date. You can come up probably with your own date and maybe it'll be even closer than mine. I don't know when we'll get that forlorn fair. Yo, Kleppy exclusive. Thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Hey, Sark, imagine doing a challenge when you do all floors in Bunker Bravo, but before every boss, you need to do one speed cube. Um, that is a pretty fun challenge to do during a live stream. I actually like it. Maybe one day we'll do it. Clap exclusive. Thanks for the super chat. Maybe one day I'll actually do it. Maybe it'll be fun. When we have the, 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 whatever the thing is called, when we have the uh, Bunker Bravo event. I mean, with the Bunker Bravo event, it's doable. Without the Bunker Bravo event, I'll have to spend like extra, what, a minute solving the cube before the boss fight, and that'll definitely kill me. So, Clap, I think that's a fun challenge to do during a live stream for the memes. Perhaps one day we'll do it. But probably only during the Bunker Bravo event, because without it, there is no way I'll be able to do it. I'll just die during that one minute. This goes there. And yeah, the, the raid, the raid, let's not forget about it. Um, this goes here. Yeah, I mean, with the event. Yeah, with the event, it's probably doable. We could do it, definitely. And I think it might be pretty fun. Yeah, I think we might do it next time. Thanks for the idea. If I don't forget it, I'll definitely do it. I think it might be fun. Because I'll be clearing that Bunker Bravo anyways during the event, so we might as well just spice it up. Replenish the ash in the workbenches. Probably I'll do it when we come back from the raid. I'm still pretty sure there's still some some ash there, unless I forget. Unless we don't forget. Let's get two C4s. Maybe that's too many C4s, but again, better more than not enough. Yo, Klutzy. Just got back into the game, so I'm kinda re-watching your F2P series, but it's pretty different now. Uh, Klutzy. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the super chat. Welcome, welcome. We have a lot of free to play series. Free to play. Free to play. Free to play series. Make sure to check out the most recent ones. I am pretty certain it's in the description. It's the one that starts with the helicopter. Sounds like and then the helicopter crashes. So yeah, that's the most recent one with the most recent updates. And welcome back to the game. Glad to see you. Welcome, welcome. Best of luck in the game, and thanks for checking out the free-to-play series. Hopefully, you'll find them useful. And LDOE Raid Player 8374. Let's see what this raid is all about. If it's a good raid, or it's a goop raid. Oh, wow, the base is big. Okay, I think I know how we can enter this raid. It does require 2 c force. Let's go for it. I don't know if we can get any loot. But I know how to enter this raid and that's what's important about it. 
So how quickly can you solve a Rubik's Cube? The personal best was... I don't remember what was the personal best, actually. The average was 47 seconds. Now it's definitely higher. I haven't solved it in months. It's still here. I have it on the table all the time, but it's been a really long time since I've done anything with it. Okay, we're gonna drop a C4 on one of these doors. Then I can drop another C4 here. And that's where we can get the, the loot. I don't think we can get anything inside of this room. That room is empty. I'm pretty sure all the chests are here. Unless I'm wrong. Let's wait until these zombies get to us. And that's it. I think all of them are dead. I don't know if I'll be able to open up all of these chests. But I'll do my best. I just had a 4.4 earthquake nearby, says Matthew. Hopefully everybody's safe. Hopefully everything is alright. Like, at what level I should start upgrading my base in last day on Earth? It doesn't really matter at what level when you have more resources. Don't build level 1 and level 2 walls. Only build level 3 walls. So when you have oak planks and bunch of, like, bricks, then start upgrading them. When you start probably raiding, because you do require lots of bricks, unless you want to farm those bricks yourself. Yeah, when you start farming for walls, then you start upgrading the base. If you want, you can start upgrading it at level 100. You can start upgrading it at le level 150 when you can raid. Or wait until you're level 209. And even then, you don't have to upgrade it if you don't want to raid. The sooner you upgrade it, the sooner you'll be able to start raiding safely. That's about it. I think those are all the suggestions that I have. Like, when did you start playing Last Day on Earth? About a, a month ago, about six years ago. The first Last Day on Earth video that I uploaded was on August 25th, I guess. I don't know, the year in 2018, probably 2018, August 25th. I think that's was, that was my first video that I posted on Last Day on Earth. But I played Last Day on Earth even before that. I played it maybe for about a week, for a few days. I guess, probably. It didn't get to Bunker Alpha or anything. I just played on my account. I raided, like, some of the basic bases that we still have till this day, and that's it. I don't think I ever had enough energy to go to Bunker Alpha back in the days. I'm not really sure even how that Bunker Alpha was. I didn't know anything about Bunker Alpha. I just know that we had only 100 energy and I didn't have enough energy because every time I'd want to go there, I'd run out of energy, so I never bothered going there, I guess. Okay, nothing. Should have maybe dropped some stuff in the chopper. But hey, whatever. Oh my goodness. Idiot! Okay. And okay, that's it. We got a skedaddle from this raid. I think we've gotten everything there is to get. It's not perfect. Kind of sad. At least we've gotten some iron. How far we've come. It took a look that. Do you have the same account? I have the same account. This one is the same account that... From 2018, like August 25th. This is the new account that I started. So technically this is my second account. My main account is my second account. I would like to now find my main account, but there's no way I'll find my main account. My main account lasted only for a week, and I had nothing in it. So, but I would like to find it. Yeah, so technically this is my... my second account.
Yeah, I'd love to find my old, old, old account from six years ago, but I don't think it's possible. There's no way I'll find it. It's impossible. It doesn't exist. That'd be cool to log into that account. Back in the days when you started the game, you wouldn't even get a base. You'd have nothing. It would be empty. You wouldn't get any floors. You wouldn't get any loot. You'd have nothing. You start basically with nothing. You would still get like a leather armor in the pickup truck and that's it. That's all you'd get. Uh, the, 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 the thingies go here. I'll drop the nails and the gold and other stuff will go to some other chests. I want to buy your first account. Alrighty, homie. You shouldn't buy any accounts, though. I'm pretty sure you're joking, but I'm just saying it's... It's, 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 it's against, it's against uh, terms of service. I'm pretty sure. They'll ban your account. That's what I'm, the, I'm pretty sure about that, I guess. Maybe, I don't know, in any case, it is what it is. I'm playing for like a year and I'm level 120 and I have stone walls and now I'm trying to do iron walls. Very nice, congrats on those walls. Good luck with getting better walls. And ash planks, yes, we gotta get those ash planks, but before we do this, let's pay the raiders. Let's give them a spear. Let's share that. And let's call them on the radio. You only had the pickup truck, nothing else, no house, no chopper, nothing. Yep. You only had the pickup truck. Oh, the, the planks. Oh, this is, those things are almost out as well. Well, let's get at least something. Well, next time we'll get some more ash blanks. And I guess on that note, we're going to be buckling up. The free-to-play video in the description is from two years ago, but I can probably just find the one we're looking for. It's a Squatsy. Excuse me, sir. Is it really from two years ago? Then why would I post this one there? Oh, yeah, it's the one from two years ago, which is still kind of relevant. It's still fine. But let's get the new one. I haven't maybe updated it. Maybe I updated it, but then I accidentally copied the wrong link again. Okay, I'll fix it. I'm fixing it right now. I always thought it's the newest free-to-play playlist. And there we go. The one from four months ago. Uh, I have just updated the link. There we go. I did it. So you'll be able to see the updated link when you ref refresh the live stream. So there we go. That works. How much money for your main account? I'll pay you. To take it away from me. So thanks everybody for joining. Thanks for letting me know that the link is uh, is 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 uh, is different from the two years ago. Is doing your ATV worth it? I mean, it's up to you. You define what's worth it, what's not worth it. it takes a lot of time. And it's not really that much worth it, but if it's worth it to you, then it's worth it to you. But personally, I don't think it's that worth it. 20 waves, mics, and other stuff. Okay, so these raids are pretty easy. The desks are easy, yes. So we'll try to do them. In any case, guys, we're going to be wrapping it up. Thanks, everybody, for joining here. See you tomorrow with another video or a live stream. We'll see what we'll do. Thanks for being here. Shout out to all of you and take care, everybody. See you later, alligators. And peace out, guys. Take care. Shout out to all of you once again. And take care, take care.